Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No I'm balling. YouTube! What is the deal? It's your boy, the Truthy Dig. No bandana, no Broncos hat, but we still have no money spent. But, and picking my hair, make sure I'm looking right on camera. We're here to do something today. Now, you see my binder, right? Now, before I get into my binder or get into the, anything, you know what I need? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love and the support. If you're here and you're not liking the video, you should be doing that first. I don't know what you're doing anyway. But anyway, I appreciate all the love and support on Twitch, on TikTok, on YouTube, everything. You guys have been going crazy. I know I said it in every video, but I mean it. So, you guys look at my binder. You're probably thinking, did he buy all this? No. I'm telling you guys, you need to be on my streams on the weekend, twitch.tv slash the truth dig. If you guys want to see highlights of this, I will download the highlights. We went crazy on stream. Now, for me, as you guys know, I'm in Australia. It's Sunday night for me going into Monday morning. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's Sunday morning. I know, it's crazy, right? Um, essentially, we pulled, um, and there's a couple we haven't even shown here, three three LTEs, one Delta O'Neill, two of Michael Thompson's, which I quick sold. Shout out to CC. Um, and then also we pulled um, 12.99s. Now in today's video, I want to do one last big reroll. Just one last big reroll. 500,000 worth in training, which is equal to 1 million. Just want to show you guys what we're risking. Um, bottom line, we're doing a big reroll. I haven't done one of these in a while on the tube, so I wanted to do it. Um, we're, maybe we'll do it raw and uncut. Maybe I'll chop it up, depending on how it goes. Um, so look, I'm just gonna get into it, and we're gonna see what we can do. See if we can make these rerolls happen. All right, so here we go. I am going straight through it. It gives me 38 rows. 38 rows. Obviously, look, we're looking for lights. Um, just give me the lights like Sean Paul. We start off with a 93. Now, 93 is a break even. Now, with these rows, um, I'm still a believer in these rows in terms of they should have been cheaper. 13,000 is just way too much because if you pull an 89 like Jack Driscoll, as you can see, we lose about 10,000 training, which in an equate to a 92, which is about 30K um 30 27k after tax so that's roughly what you lose when you pull a 89 anytime these rolls happen now what you should be doing with these um obviously if you're on twitch.tv watch me rip these i was just quick selling everything but the way to maximize these is take 91s for example like isaiah rogers and 89s like jack driscoll and build team builder sets and sell them that way because those 93s are going a little bit a little bit above what normal 93s are going for um, normal 93s are usually going for about 39 36k whereas the team builders are going from anywhere from 55 to 65 even some upwards to 70k so that's the right thing to do um, in terms of these as we are starting off with an awful awful roll Jesus um, this is not a good start in terms of these rolls but look we're gonna keep going um, like I, said, I haven't done one of these videos in terms of a big pack opening live on the YouTube in a while usually it is chopped up from my twitch stream so I thought I would switch it up give you guys a live pack opening um, on the YouTube like I said it's Sunday night for me so these LTDs are gonna be out of rows in roughly about two and a half hours because it's 10 p.m. I just looked at my clock Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening and almost going into Monday for me um, so these come out at 1030 Eastern standard time in the morning for you guys on Sunday and for me it's about 1230 a.m. that they come out on Monday morning I know it's confusing welcome to being on the other side of the world um, so we're about 125k in and we haven't got anything above a 93 so 93s are just break even anything below a 93 is an L you guys have probably done all these rolls as we get our first big pool 95s quick sale for 26,000 which is essentially double so it basically gives you two rolls um, so we're heating up in terms of those we will see where we're at after this one big row and see if we wish to continue um, like I said, I want to minimize my loss in terms of these. So I may keep the 89s and 91s, make team builder sets. Um, and then after that point, who knows what I'll do with like the 95s, 97s, if we pull any 95s and 97s. Obviously, ultimately, I would like to. Um, but let me know down below how these rolls for you guys. Um, we had a bunch of mixed bags. Obviously, if you did the rolls, I was lucky enough to be up. Because um, like I said, server changeover for me is like 1230 in the morning. I was lucky to be up when the service dropped over. And I made a Buku training on the Tony G set. Um, now, obviously, went to bed. Um, as you get another 95 Brian Kelly. Um, so I didn't get to fully take advantage of it. But I made a cool 200 to 300,000 training. Um, obviously, some people made millions in terms of training. So, because they were just doing, I don't know how long it was up for. Like I said, because I went to sleep. Um, but yeah, if you did make training, obviously, it was Buku. So a lot of people think that after that, as we get our first lights. 
shouldn't be disappointed, but it is a 97. It is a bit disappointing out of these rolls when you know you can pull a 99 that you get a 97. That's still, you know, a quadruple in training, so which is an absolute W. But like I said, obviously, with the um, glitch, I guess you could say, or Lupo, um, doing the Tony G6, I actually did the Saquon set first, and I noticed it was like 78,000 training. That's not right. So, you know, I went on the calculator. I was watching Gut Fox, and, you know, he was doing it. And then he did the Tony G set live. And I was like, hold up. Basically, you get Tony G for free. Or once you click Tony G, you're getting about 12 to 13K, I think, um, training for free. So I was like, bet, let's do this. So I ended up doing probably about 10, 10 or 11 Tony Gs, uh, probably a little bit more. And then I was like, all right. At that point, it was like, I forgot how early it was in the morning. But I was like, I got to go to bed. Um, I made my training. I made my dub. I'll run away with it. But obviously, a lot of people ran away with a bunch more training than I ran away with here. Um, but we are about over a little bit halfway through, and we've gotten a plethora of 93s, right? A couple of 95s. We've only been showing the lights one time. Um, like I said, if you were in my stream, um, I believe it, was, it would have been Friday for you guys, Saturday for me. It was a light show. We did 300K to start off. The first 300K, we didn't get a single thing above 95. Um, but then we obviously went back and did it, and then it just turned into, like I said, a freaking light show after that. So, um, you know, I, I'm doing this for content to show you guys. I'm um, obviously, like I said, these are these LTDs are going out of packs. Hopefully, on draft night in the past, um, EA has provided some LTDs in packs, like some limited time LTDs. Don't know if that's going to be the case or not. Um, as well, another thing that happened today was pack odds were raised, and typically, if you remember. On the free when the free agency rolls were out hold on wait a minute 97 we'll take it if you remember the free agency rolls they were hot when russell will it was a russell wilson and Calais campbell were in it then the next day they did pack odds raise and then the odds became trash so um now here's the thing we pulled two 97s and we pulled what um, a plethora of 93s, 295s. Don't know if we're going to get our 500k back. After we get done with this roll, we will check to see where we're at, see how much training we got left um, out of the, all the rolls, and then we will decide what we're going to do from that point. Um, obviously, the Ultimate Legends came out today. It was Carl Banks, who is a Washington football theme teamer, who I could use on the Washington football theme team. I did see he can get up to like 98 speed, potentially 99 with outside um, linebacker strap cards. That may be something I explore. And then obviously that Larry Zonka. That Larry Zonka really helps in terms of bringing down Mike Allstott's price. Um, last time I checked, Larry was like four to five hundred k. Carl Banks was basically mend out. Come on, let's make it a good one. Ninety-seven Antoine Wheelfield. We're getting the lights. We're getting the lights, but we're not getting the big lights. Um, essentially, if we would if we would have pulled three ninety-nines instead of three ninety-sevens, I would be confident that we would make our training back. Because the difference between 99s and 97s in terms of training is roughly about, what, 48,000? So, I don't know. Uh, I absolutely don't know. Like I said, we were pulling a host of 93s, um, which, like I said, 93s are break-evens. I think for every 89, you have to pull you have to pull a 95. So, obviously, we haven't pulled um, as many. We pulled a lot of 89s. There's not as many 95s. So, what do we have? I think we got three more packs here. Um, I may quick sell an, eight, an 89 just to get to 52,000 directly. So this will, I'm just gonna quick sell that because that'll give us three rolls exactly left and be left with 885 training, essentially. Um, and like I said, then we'll go over to the binder, have a look and see where we at. What 89 has been popping up the most for you? For me, it's been that Titans player. I can't think of Antonio Blackson. I just think of the name Michael Blackson. Y'all know Michael Blackson, the actor. Um, and now Carlos Davis is just making a host of appearances into my packs. Um, which is cool um not really but you know what can you do right um can we walk it off no we cannot walk it off which is okay another 89 let's go check the binder and see how we did all right so we're in the binder we ended off with 489 pulls which is exactly not what you want to see we know we made at least 150k back with the 397 pulls i'm guessing about 350k not too bad we made 400 and basically 50k back like I said, I'm going to keep all the 89s and 91s. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably quick sell all the 93s um, and go back and potentially roll again. I'll keep the 97s, um, which, I, like I said, I can build 199. I don't necessarily need a 99, but I'll keep the 97s for other training. Let me see what we get here. We get 150K. Let's see if we can go pull potentially a limited or a 99 out of 150K, and then we'll get out of here.
All right, 150K training. Like I said, it's not many rows. Um, I believe it's about 12 rows. Can we get the lights in 12 rows? Probably not gonna happen, but you never know until you try, right? So if we get some lights, um, specifically a 99, we may be sitting in the pretty here. Absolutely may be sitting in the pretty here. If we're not, I really should be quick selling 93s as I go. Um, Cause I am, I'm gonna do that moving forward is quick sell any 93s I get so we can just keep going. Anything below, we will obviously keep. 91s and 89s we'll keep, um, but if 93 is exactly, it's breaking even, so it's giving me an additional row. So it'll kind of help us with pulling an LTD, hopefully, um, or not an LTD, a 99 at least. Obviously, if we get the lights, that's what you're looking for is an LTD. Um, obviously, you would have seen my Broncos Dame Team video yesterday um, with Delta O'Neal um, debuted along with Ty Law and along with, I think, the best card in Mutt right now, which is Vernon Davis. I hate the fact that he's so cheap because everyone has him and I hate going against him. Like I literally do hate going against him because he is a menace, an absolute menace to guard. With 98 speed, you have to put a corner on him because um, he has receiver-like skills. And he's also a cheat if you put him like in the slot or at the receiver because one AP route tech. You can go one AP route tech and then deep out elite or matchup nightmare and it's a problem. It's an absolute problem. But um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you didn't, I would definitely um, hot suggest you go check out my Broncos theme team video. We may um, be here for a while because, like I said, we're with quick with 93s just popping out. I know we got that 93, uh, other 93 in our binder, but if 93s keep popping out, of course, EA say no. <laughs> we're gonna end this soon. Say so with 93s popping up, obviously we'll keep rolling because that's just us breaking even and getting another row. Um, but EA is deciding against that. So get another Rashawn Slater, which I'm very surprised that he just got a 93, one of the highest graded, you know, tackles um, in recent memory in terms of pass blocking about PFF and I know some people like PFF doesn't matter or it doesn't tell the whole story I agree but Rashawn Slater was still pretty good for a rookie um, obviously better than well who was it Panay Sewell and was Panay Sewell the one in front yeah Panay Sewell was the one who I mean look he was in Detroit so bad situation is obviously the Slater had Justin Herbert with the Chargers um, but it is what it is um, we're rolling here and we're getting absolutely nothing we're getting absolutely nothing. Don't know if we're going to get some lights. Um, like I said, let me know down below how these rolls for you, were for you guys. We literally got three more rolls exactly left um, to give me some lights. And if we don't get any lights, it is what it is. We haven't even got a, a, a um, 95, let alone lights. So, um, But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm sorry it wasn't an eventful one. Um, I wish it could have been more eventful with some of my pools. Um, like I said, whereas Jonathan Cooper just saved us. Shout out to a Bronco for saving us for a rose, giving it allows to get two more rows. Um, we got two more rows here. Don't know if we're going to get lights in these two rows. It would be fantastic if we do. Um, but Jonathan Cooper saving the day. I like you, Jonathan Cooper. Keep up the good work. I think he's very underrated. Um, I think he's going to be a good rotational pass rusher. Um, and if he proves himself, I think the Broncos may let Bradley Chubb walk. I truly do because of his injury history and things of that nature. Because Jonathan Cooper would have been a mid-round pick if it wasn't for his injury history. And I think he had like a heart condition too. Um, so is this going to be our last pack here? Jonathan Cooper again. Broncos saving a Broncos fan. Um, maybe he can save us and get us some lights. Can we walk off with some lights? Yes. No. Maybe so. Yeah, let me close my eyes. Nah, did not do it. Well, appreciate you boys. First row was okay. Second row was absolutely poop. You guys seen it. Obviously, you got a bunch of 89s, 91s. Convert those into team builders. Make me some coins. Easy that way. But until next time, your boy signing out with a Maha salute. Deuces.